It is so great to work with functions in Desmos. Now I could certainly put in an equation. I'm just gonna click in an empty cell here and type in y equals x caret two for squared arrow over and then plus three. So I've got my quadratic function in there, but if I wanna use it as a function, I can replace my y with an f of x. Now I've got all sorts of things that I can do with it. Let me click in another cell, like evaluate it. So I can put in f of two. I can even do twice that function. So two times f of two, or I can define another function. Let me click on an empty cell again. Y equals or g of x equals f of x, let's do um, plus three, and I can move that function up three. Let me move this down just a little bit. Now, in addition to our function as an equation and our function as a graph, I can also look at the table of values for my function. So we get all three versions, all three representations of our function. So I'm gonna click on my gear button up here, right above the equation list, and it gives me the option to bring up a table. And that table gives me points for the function. So my x's and my f of x's, and of course, I can type right over those points as another way of evaluating functions. So say I wanted to know what f of five was. If I were to put in another function, say g of x is equal to x plus two, I'll just do this graph here, and we can use our two functions now to do some algebra of functions. So we can say y equals f of x plus g of x, and we've got our brand new transformed graph there, or we can even do a composition. Let me grab a brand new cell here, and I'm gonna do f composed with g of, and let me go ahead and just put a value in, let's say f composed with g of three. Desmos does this and so much more.